It has opened up a bit of a debate. These laws brought in after the 2009 financial crisis, but the government, it does have some support here from the RBA, believe that the onus on the banks, the requirements now have gone too far. Yeah, certainly the big banks today welcoming these changes that have been announced by the Treasurer, but already pushback, Tom, from consumer groups in particular. They argue that this opens up the risks that many households will be getting mortgages that they can't necessarily afford. But the Treasurer says the pendulum has swung too far in the other direction, that the regulations that were brought in place off the back of the GFC have made it very restrictive for the banks, that they have found it too hard to... Um, they're, they're too wary of the changes that have been put in place, that they are now not lending as much as he would like to see. He was the Treasurer making this announcement this morning. But our current regulatory framework with respect to lending is not fit for purpose. It's become overly prescriptive, it's become increasingly costly, it's become increasingly complex and responsible lending has become restrictive lending. And the Governor of the Reserve Bank has pointed out that banks have become now risk averse to the point that they don't want to make loans that they fear may be going bad. And we need our banks to be extending credit. Now, these changes and will need to go before the Parliament, but the Treasurer would like to see them in place, Tom, by March next year to try and jumpstart the COVID recovery. We have heard from the architect of these laws, Wayne Swan, the former Labor Treasurer. He's certainly very wary of the changes. We strengthened our regulations then, and they have served us well. Now, if there's a problem, let's hear about it and see it clearly. But I'd be very, very wary. I mean, we had a Royal Commission into the banks not too long ago, and I, for one, am a little worried about, uh, about trusting our banking system with looser regulation. Sorry about that before, Trudy. Well done for talking through me. Always good advice. Uh, meanwhile, the Treasurer revealing the biggest budget deficit in dollar terms on record. And, Tom, that number will only get worse. We only have 10 days to go until the Treasurer hands down this delayed federal budget. But today, the final budget outcome for the last financial year has been revealed. That back-in-the-black surplus that the Morrison government had been talking about, this $5 billion projected surplus, it has, in fact, been wiped down to an $85.3 billion deficit. A story when it comes to gross debt that's also got significantly worse. $556 billion was the estimate. It's actually come in for the financial year at $684 billion. He was the finance minister on these challenging numbers. Well, we don't have the have finance, finance minister, minister there, but certainly, Tom, the government certainly changing its focus now. The Treasurer talking about the fact that they can no longer rely on simply the Reserve Bank to be cutting interest rates, that its fiscal policy is going to be the main game driving growth out of this COVID recession.